Hey guys, uh, I'm back with another video. In uh, today's video, I will discuss about the uh, user account in Root. Uh, I see a lot of you actually confused about user standard, standard user and system users. Uh, this is why I make the tutorial and hopefully that can clear it up for you guys. And uh, first of all, before we get started, as you know that FreeNAS actually running on FreeBSD, that the underlying operating system for FreeNAS. Um, it's not a uh, FreeBSD, it's not a Linux or it's not a um, Unix operating system, but it's it a Unix-like operating system. So somewhat uh, similar to uh, Unix, but not completely. All right, Acal. Um, a lot of you wonder like man where all this uh, user account came from I didn't create it so at the root so uh, by default uh, the system account created uh, by default uh, during the installations and I use by the um, by the system to run uh, services such as uh, DNS mail and uh, web servers <clears throat> so the account what the difference between a system account and the regular user account or the standard users so the standard user you can use to log in and uh, into the system the um, system user you cannot with the exception of the root user so the root user have the UID of zero which is technically belong to the system account However, it the uh, only exception that you can log in using um, the root users. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. There you go. User root users. You see right here the shell. It actually have SI. Uh, well, by default, I think it uh, ZNH, but I changed it to batch. That's the most uh, popular shell one. And all the other one at uh, the um, system users. How you know that they are system users? If you uh, run the command in the terminal shell and to show the UID, um, any any um, system user gonna have a UID less than one thousand, and a regular, with the exception of root, obviously, and a regular user uh, or the standard user gonna have a UID of one thousand or more. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, if you hit on at, so right here, this is what I'm talking about UID 1000. So it's just the way that um, free PSD works. Same thing in the Linux and the Unix. If you use a Linux and Unix before, you would be pretty familiar with this. Any user more than 1000, that are regular uh, or standard users. Let in 1000, uh, it automatically assigned by system. And let's see, um, so the system automatically uh, assigned the ID equal to the port number that you buy the services. So, all the program in order to execute a um, task, they need a uh, privilege that higher than the regular user but not at the root users. That way, the system user came in and root when they create a um, before user root automatically created every user have to have a root have to have a root so right here uh, the root uh, GID zero will it uh, treated like a admin group in um, Windows system so any user that uh, assigned to the wheel can execute um, like the root well, root they didn't really need the, to execute the su command. Okay, obviously, it already root users, uh, but any user under the will can escalate the um, uh, to use the root privilege by using the su or the sudo command. If you permit them to use a sudo command, but they should be able to uh, execute the su command if they assign it to a will root. All right, and if you the only user at home. Uh, Re-aid a user account and assign them to will. That uh, best recommendation I can give you guys. All right, uh, let's just re-aid a user. Easy name. 
just having your name and basically the system gonna generate a username for you uh, you can change this it optional if you wanted to but they recommended that uh, the username should be uh, a character or less for compatibility with the, the applications and all the legacy uh, clients and uh, basically it tell you all the requirement what uh, you what kind of character you can use for the password to and uh, if you have a personal email or you want to set up one um, for the notification you can do so and follow one of my tutorial for this video I'm gonna skip it and create a password by the way in order to execute a SU command you're gonna need to know the root password so in order to work uh, you have to assign uh, password to a root user in order to use the su or sudo command user id 1000 and keep in mind that if you create a new users do not duplicate it it can be an issue uh, in future um, and I, th I think by default not letting you uh, using the duplicate it anyway it gonna ge generate the next one 1001 1002 When you check a new primary root, it automatically create a root that uh, have the same uh, GID 1000 uh, with your username. If you don't want a new root, you can assign them to a root. Like what I'm about to do right now, I'm going to assign my user to uh, the wheel so that I can execute the SU or sudo command. And obviously, I'm going to permit the sudo shell. Uh, well, you can use a CNH or um, whatever you refer this is come down to personal reference or um, i don't know uh, wh whatever you might use but the most popular one at batch uh, shells this is uh, the most popular one in uh, linux or unix and uh, even uh, mac os so that's why i use it it's up to you what you want to use all right let me read that users And that basically is. Um, you see right here is all the other system user. It have the no locking shell. So basically, that uh, if you ever lock in, you're not gonna able to execute any command in the shell because it have no locking shell. And if you dig even further at uh, the uh, the mechanism that prevent the user to log in the system at the explanation mark in front of their password. Oh, it's just an explanation mark. It's gonna stop it from uh, locking in the system. If you're wondering, just for your information. And with that, uh, that's it for the uh, account uh, user and root. So to sum up, it system user created by default by the system. Do not use it except for the root user, with the exception of the root users create the standard user and use it that's the best way i can put it for root you can create um for uh, you can create a different root but uh if you want the user to able to execute the su or sudo command assign them to a uh, wheel that's like an admin uh, administrator uh root and this is for the tutorial in the next one uh i'm gonna try to clear up um uh, a lot of people are having issue with the um, um, locking the edit edge so I will cover that in the next video and if you think this video is informational helpful to you um, give it a thumb up uh, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video